salt is a colorless transparent or white crystal that is a result of marriage or union of a sodium ion with a chloride ion. It is one of the most basic and essential molecules on Earth that compose of 40% sodium and 60% chloride by weight. It was produced from evaporation of seawater or direct mining from underground or surface deposits. It is being used in cooking, cleaning, deodorizing, preserving in agriculture, and in industry. The Philippines being a tropical country is blessed to have distinct hot summer and long coastal shorelines suitable for solar salt production, which utilizes abundant and inexhaustible resources of sun and the sea. Solar heat is utilized for the concentration of seawater in the evaporation ponds. The salt product is crystallized in bunny guns or salt beds, which are usually lined with broken tiles. The crude salt produced is mostly of low quality and hence do not meet the standards required by industry. Since solar salt contains large amount of various impurities, recrystallization of the crude salt is being done to meet the requirements for salt iodization. Iodine is essential for healthy brain development in the fetus and young child. Iodine deficiency affects the health of women as well as economic productivity and quality of life. Most people need an additional source of iodine as it is found in relatively small amounts in the diet. Iodization is the process of fortifying salt for human consumption with iodine and is an effective strategy to increase iodine intake at the population level. In December 20, 1995, Republic Act 8172, an act promoting salt iodization nationwide and for related purposes, otherwise known as the Asin Law, was enacted. This law promotes a national salt iodization program to eliminate iodine deficiency disorder by the year 2000 and achieve a new breed of healthier, more intelligent, more economically empowered and globally competitive Filipinos. It stipulated that all salt sold in the market for food and feed shall be iodized to maximize the delivery of iodine as micronutrient to the grassroots of the population. That is why the Industrial Technology Development Institute of the Department of Science and Technology developed a comprehensive program for the development of the technology on salt iodization. For the salt, to ensure quality food industry standards, good manufacturing practices is recommended. Observe proper sanitary procedures. Keep fingernails short and clean. Wash hands thoroughly. Change disposable gloves regularly. Avoid coughing and sneezing. Observe proper attire, hairnet, face mask, gloves, and safety shoes. Follow proper manufacturing procedures, safety procedures, step-by-step -step process, quality control protocol. To start, here are the raw materials of salt iodization, crude salt, potassium iodate, Potable water, equipment or materials, scooper or dipper, plastic for packaging, label, and iodizing machine. Procedure Prepare 5% potassium iodate solution by mixing the potassium iodate with water. Be sure that iodate is completely dissolved then set aside. Put prepared potassium iodate solution into the solution chamber. Start the machine and continue loading salt into the machine 
at a steady rate for uniform concentration. Using appropriate iodine testing technique, check the amount of iodine solution and add solution as necessary. Collect iodized salt at the container. Package product in suitable container and label the product. Salt is now ready. Estimated production cost. For more information and for further details, please write to Dr. Maria Patricia V. Asanza, Director of ITDI, DOST, Telfax number 837-3167 and 837-6150. Or you may also contact the Technological Services Division with Telfax number 837-6156 or 837-2071-283, local 2265 or 2269. You can also email on tsd at itdi.dost.gov.ph. You may also visit the website www.itdi.dost.gov.ph. Thank you.